guys, welcome to the episode of Eating with Kim. But today we're making hot pot soup, basically. So I have been responsible, I have been put responsible to make dinner for my family. So it's only about 11.46 a.m. right now, but I want to make the soup as early as possible because the longer it boils, the better it tastes. And I'm sorry if you're expecting some sort of fancy soup base. Uh, no, I'm no chef. I can cook, but being able to cook is not equivalent to being good at cooking. I think people tend to be confused by that. When people say things like, hey, I can cook, automatically somehow the people around that person would be like, okay, cook up something fancy for me. No, I'm not a great chef and I go for low calorie stuff, so yeah. So first ingredient you want to have here is a big pot of Plain water. Oh my gosh, I'm literally moving camera stand. Plain water. Turn up the heat. Heat is turned up. What you want to add is... I forgot what this is called in English, but I think in... I think in... Uh, I mean, I forgot what it's called in English. It's in Malay, it's called ikan bilis. I think it's anchovies or something like that. But just these things. I don't know what they're called in English. Can't remember. Anchovies, right? I think. I think these things. Is it? Is it focusing? Anyway, yeah. You want to add these for the saltiness. So we're gonna add these things in. And then you want to stir them. No, you don't have to stir them because it's gonna boil anyway. And then you want to add 800 grams of pumpkin, as well as almost 600 grams of yam, all raw. And the reason I'm adding so much is because I like it when my soup is thick. I don't like it when the soup is watery and soupy. I like the soup to be thick. You gotta be careful when you do that. Yep. Uh, yeah, I, I like it to be thick because the taste is stronger that way and it's more filling as well. But the most important thing is still the taste. <laughs> yeah, and pumpkin is super low in calories. 800 grams of pumpkin is like 200 calories. Yam, I'm not too sure, but it's not super high either. So yeah, I'm not too worried. So yeah. So it's 1400 grams of vegetables in the pot now. So what happens here is that we're just gonna leave it here and let it boil. We're not gonna come back until later. We're just gonna let it boil and leave it here. So what you wanna do now is, of course, you wanna leave it here. You can do your own stuff now. I'm about to go exercise. By the way, I'm wearing a shirt from FNK Concept. Be sure to check them out on Shopee and Lazada for cool products and reasonable prices. And as you might have noticed, I have lowered my pitch when I did the Lazada so that I do not break my voice. And people have laughed at me for that. Anyway, you wanna leave it to boil. Um, and then as you come back later and you feel that it's not thick enough, or not salty enough or anything like that, you season it accordingly. So I'm not gonna season it right now, I just wanna see how it's gonna taste. And yeah, let's see the thickness, consistency, and the taste when we come back in a while. So, I I keep repeating myself. Yeah, I'm gonna go work out now, and we'll just see how it goes later. Bye-bye. Oh yeah, by the way, I thought I should mention, um, usually when I make the soup, I also add shiitake mushroom. Those things are super low in calories as well. It's like. I can't remember, but I think 60 grams is like some 10 calories or 20 calories. Super low calories and they just add a lot of flavor to the soup and I really love them. So I did not manage to buy them from groceries the other day and I don't want to go out today because it's just, yeah, I don't want to go out. <laughs> and so yeah, we're not going to add them. The taste is going to be a little bit different from usual. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it still tastes good. But if it does not, then we'll figure it out. Yeah, I'll see you guys in like two or three hours.
Hey guys, so it's been two days after the hot pot day and apparently people think it's good. My family thinks it's good. They they like that the soup is thick, it's more filling. Makes you fart a lot too because you know, yeah, and a lot of pumpkin as well. So yeah, um, I just thought I needed to add. I forgot to record again, damn it. <laughs> that during the process of making the soup, you wanna add more salt to taste, right? So like every three, four hours you wanna you go to the soup and see whether it's salty enough, whether you, whether it's thick enough for your liking. So you can add more ingredients as you want. Um, I didn't add any more ingredients. All I did was season the salt, no pepper, and the soup might taste a little bit bland on its own. But don't worry if it's not super strong because once you start mixing the ingredients with other forms of food during the hot pot when you're eating the hot pot, <laughs> um, it's gonna taste better. So yeah, I hope you've learned something and you should try this hot pot soup base because it's simple, it's like freaking simple, it's freaking like two, three ingredients, right? <laughs> and four if you add to mushrooms. And it's cheaper and you can make a large portion and it's healthier as well, that's the main thing. You don't have to add any form of those you know, unnecessary fats and just, I don't know, what do people add to their soup? Butter, oil, or fried onions or garlic or, I don't know, I don't like that. I like to watch my calories even when I'm, you know, taking a break from my diet, I guess. I don't even look at my diet as a diet because I think it's so flexible and still low calorie. And it's able to help me maintain the physique I want to maintain. And it's flexible as well, which means I can adjust it whenever I want to. I can cook, I can bake. So when I'm feeling like desserts, I can make them as well. So, of course, with all that said, watch more of the Eating with Kian. <laughs> and yeah, that is all for the hot pot video. Till next time, I'm out.